What's up, you guys? This is Karmic and Dane's TNT, and when we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision, or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as a channel. These current ancestor messages for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the emails, the bookings, the donations. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me in the channel. I appreciate you. And all of the other information about me with the other platforms I am on will be down in the description box below with the links available. All right, you guys. All right, let's see. Let's get into it and see what's going on. All right. Let's see. I appreciate y'all for real. All right, let's get into it. Ancestors, what do you want the collective to know? Ace of Swords and Four of Pentacles. Huh. For some of you guys, you're going to get some clarity when it comes to like what you need to hold back from okay you're gonna get some clarity about what you need to hold back from okay this could be a person or whatever you're gonna get some clarity your ancestors are gonna give you some clarity yeah ten of swords yeah nine of wands yeah king of wands yeah <laughs> Yeah, your ancestors are protecting you from somebody at this time. It's like, I'm just feeling like your ancestors are on guard with somebody for some reason. And this is a person that you're going to, you're. it's like you're going to be feel led to hold back from this person. Because, I mean, <laughs> your ancestors is not playing with somebody or something like that. Okay? Like, they really not. <laughs> All right, let's get into this energy because uh, your ancestors is not playing. They not playing, yo. Hmm. Somebody could be trying to cause a painful ending in the situation, but your ancestors say, hell no, nah, we're going to cause a painful ending to you. <laughs> okay, so what's this energy, spirit? What's going on with this energy? Yeah, Nine of Swords. This could be somebody, Ten of Pentacles. Five of Wands. And then we got the Queen of Wands. So, whoever this person is, I feel like this could be somebody that's trying to, like, gain from you. Or this could be somebody that's worrying about a lot of money. Okay, this could be somebody that's worried about a lot of money here. I just feel. Yeah. Six of Cups is somebody from your past or somebody that you could know. Two of Cups. And this person may try to come together with you or something like that, but your ancestors is telling you no, not to do this with this person. Because you're going to end up betrayed with the Ten of Swords here. It possibly will, will fuck with your whole foundation. So that's why your ancestors is telling you, hell no. That's why they, they like this. Because it's like, for some of y'all, it's like, <clears throat> there's a partnership that may actually, like, fuck with your foundation. I'm seeing. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer. Strong Gemini energy, Libra Aquarius, strong Sag. You got Capricorn too. It's like be careful because for some of y'all, this could be your energy too. If you in your head about a lot of money and stuff like that, okay, it's like your ancestors is gonna give you some kind of clarity about what you need to do when it comes to like your money and stuff. Okay. So it's like, don't worry about it. For some of y'all, this could have something to do with modeling. You may, um, man or woman, 
Okay, something about modeling could be significant. Okay, or if you like work like as an assistant or something like that, this could be like a new job as far as like assistant, paying more money. Okay. Yeah. For some of y'all, this could have something to do with like um fighting and arguing at like a workplace with somebody that got kids. Okay, I'm seeing like somebody like fight with somebody that they work with that got kids or something. Okay. And possibly somebody getting fired or something like that, like right on the spot kind of energy. So it's like, be careful with like, you know, letting people like get to you and shit at work too. Because I'm seeing like a fight break out and then somebody just lose their job. And, you know, or get suspended without pay or some shit. Okay, so just be careful with that energy. But your ancestors is like, they may give you some clarity to like go on to another job or to not partner up with somebody specifically. Okay, because something may deplete you so bad. Like I'm talking about like you talking about starting back from square one. <laughs> like really, really starting at square one for real, for real with this energy I'm feeling. Okay. So it's like your ancestors, you know, they're going to give you some clarity, though. It's some strong clarity that's going to come in, okay, in a situation for you. All right, let's see. Current energy. All right, we got deflection. Re-energize your life. Foundations, yep. I'm just really feeling like that. Something to do with your foundation. Yep, the lower world, the past. Begin writing now. So if there was something that you was thinking about writing, a song, whatever this is, a book, some do a poetry, your ancestors want you to start writing that, start doing that. Get it done. Stop procrastinating. Stop putting it on a back burner. Get it done is what I'm hearing. Because it's a part of your foundation. It's a part of... It's a, I'm hearing it's a part of another one of your gifts as well. For some of you guys, in this lifetime, you are meant to tap into all your gifts for some of y'all. Okay? I'm hearing... It's like you're meant to tap in like to all your gifts or something like that. All right? And I'm hearing like make fortune from them. Like make fortune from them. So you're meant to like tap into like your gifts to get fortune. I mean, that's a part of your abundance as well. So it's like for a lot of y'all, it's like tapping into like other gifts and stuff like that. It's like your ancestors want you to step out your comfort zone. I'm hearing. Okay. Yep. So it's like your ancestors, for some of y'all, something about clearing your space, getting rid of things, people, mindsets, okay? Because this is giving me like an energy of your ancestors wanting you to tap into like an, um, another gift or something. But it's like you got to clear out the old, okay? You got to make sure you're really clearing out like old things, old energy, old people, old mindsets, Okay? Current energy. Yeah, trust your instincts. Okay. Trust your instincts. Yeah, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Yeah, trust your instincts. You already know sub. Yeah, see from a higher perspective. That's what I'm seeing. Yep, a time to give rather than take. Let go of the need to be right. Love and let yourself be loved. You and your loved ones are safe. Surrender to the divine. Yep, 
So this is something that you need to see from a higher perspective because your ancestors want you to know, like I said, it's like it's a part of your abundance. Like reaping rewards, this is like a part of your abundance, whatever this is when it comes to writing. Okay? So it's like your ancestors want you to tap into it. Okay? I'm just feeling that energy. Yep. It's like for some of y'all, you may be meant to tap into another gift, okay, in a situation or tap into another way to use your gift to attract and heal another, like another set of people or another crowd of people or something like that. It's kind of giving me the energy. It's like, you know how like Beyonce like went over and started doing country music? It's kind of giving me that vibe. Like, she's still doing music, but then she went over to the country and started, like, doing country music. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of vibe. Like, having, like, the same gift, but, you know, going it in a different, you know, way. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Current energy. Balance. I'm tired. <laughs> Balance and Akashic Library, yo. I can't, for real. Like, come on, y'all. I'm telling y'all. So, this is something that, for some of y'all, you could be studying something now. And for others of you, this is just confirmation that you need to do this. Because for a lot of y'all, if you're looking for balance, this is going to put you back in balance. Or put you in the balance that you want to be in. Okay? Yeah, so your ancestors want you to do some reflection. Okay? Yeah, I'm telling you. For a lot of y'all, there are some things that could turn around for you between... Let's see. Spring. Okay, like springtime energy. Like between the spring and the autumn. Okay, in a situation... But your ancestors is like, yeah, this is, I like this energy. I like this energy. Something about a, a new moon in Virgo could be significant. Something to do with July 7th, July 2nd, February 2nd, February 7th, July 27th, February 27th. All right, let's see. That's what's up. Independence. We got cat. You are being encouraged to develop a balance between independence and a time of togetherness. This is this also indicates that you could greatly benefit from a profound journey of self-discovery. Learn to enjoy time spent with yourself. All right, period. So for some of y'all, something about, uh, I'm just hearing something about a new animal. For some of y'all, you could be like getting a cat. Okay. Or something like that. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Then we got kangaroo. A nine month cycle is at play. Your current project will take nine months to mature and benefit you. Commit fully to it. You have all the strength and stamina you need as long as you move forward and not backward. So whatever this is, this new, like I said, you know, it's it's going to take time. But it's like it's going to give you what you want, though. It's going to it's going to give you what you want. This is like long term, stable, secure success. You know what I'm saying? Not that shit that burn out, that shit that stick. You know what I'm saying? Something to do with February 19th, July 19th. So, yep, for some of y'all, this is like another gift, like using your gift another way. But it's like, yeah, this is like dope. Because for some of y'all, it's like your ancestors want you to like, uh, it's like, you know, you could have a group that you could have that you heal in or that you've healed or that you've helped assist. But now your ancestors want you to go to like a different group. Okay? Or something like that. 
So, yeah. All right. We got leather jackets could be significant. So I'm do a single. Mm. All right, bottom of the deck, we got cook. So I'm gonna do with a chef. Okay, could be significant. The air sign of hater, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, we got thongs. Some of do the SUV. We got drug addict. Somebody got dark eyes. Some of do a four or Aries. We got V, F. We got A. <laughs> Factory worker. Light skin tone. Yeah, your ancestors, don't, they want you to know. That you they favorite. <laughs> For some of y'all, this could be an ancestor that used to say you my favorite. Or something about, I'm hearing somebody like, this could be a grandma, grandpa, something like that. Auntie, somebody could have said, are you my favorite? Or they used to call you that. <laughs> Backfire in motion. We got long nails. Married. Z. Community service. We got M, construction worker, janitor or housekeeper. Some are doing multiple ear piercings. We have trainer or trainee. We got H, a fake ass empress. So there's a backfire happening on a fake empress. Telepathic communication. Left leg and their thigh tattoos. We got leggings. Yeah, I'm telling y'all something real. Secret society. Sleeve tattoo. Somebody could be six feet and up. We have Capricorn. We have Widow. We have X. Y. We have Performer. Some do a watch could be significant. So, there's a fake Empress that's going through a backfire in your energy. Okay. So let's get a little info on this on this in energy here. I'm just I'm feeling like there's there's a backfire happening on a fake empress. Let's see. A backfire happening on a fake empress. Let's see. Let's get into this spirit. Let's see. Hello, y'all. Let me get this to Gala real quick. I heard Manhattan. Something <clears throat> to do with uh, Max. Max. What's going on with this fake Empress? Give me energy on this fake Empress. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. What else? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Moon. What else? Let's see. Fake Empress, what's going on with this person? Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So, whoever this person is, they done talk themselves into being broke. <laughs> they done talk themselves into being broke. This could have been a person that was attacking you, but they ain't trying to attack you no more. Yeah, Ten of Wands, yeah, because this person is real heavy on them now. It's a lot of things that have slowed down, even some things that has came to an ending. Yeah, because this person tried to come for you, so now they suffering what they ask get okay mm -hmm. 
-hmm. What else? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Ten of Wands and Nine of Wands, yo. This person is going through hell. The wheel has turned. And now somebody look at this person as like an evil person. Somebody could look at somebody as evil now. Or something. But whoever this person is, they not attacking no more. Yeah, horrifying. This could be somebody where somebody was married to or in some kind of like high level commitment. Yeah, this person not attacking no more. Knight of Swords in reverse. This person is going through too much. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody sees a future with... Either somebody see a future with this King of Pentacles or this King of Pentacles see a future with this Queen of Swords. Okay? And whoever this fake empress is, this person is, is broken. Okay? And they going through a lot. And this could be a person that talk a lot of shit, too. All right? They, like, they talk a lot of shit. I'm just feeling... I don't know why I'm, I was meant to say that, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's the yeah. <laughs> the cycle is closed. The world card you got the moon. The cycle is closed. And somebody gonna get evidence that it's closed too. Page of Swords. Yep. Yep. Somebody gonna get evidence on why they blocked out and everything. It's all gonna come to the to the head. Yeah, because somebody could have been left out in the cold here. Yep. But the reason why is because I'm seeing like somebody could have been attacking somebody. But now it's too hard for this person because now this person is going through a situation where things have slowed up for them real bad to the point where this person's worrying and stressing. It's a lot on their shoulders and shit. Okay? Like I said, for some of y'all, this could be somebody you separated from, you was married to, or like a high level. This is giving me like marriage or something. Yep. But it's like now somebody is like just going forward. Somebody sees something... They going forward. Yep, and that's really hurting this other person here. That somebody is just going forward. Yep. I'm hearing like... Yeah, somebody is just like... With the Knight of Swords, they was attacking somebody. And it just got it to where... It's like this person talked themselves out of a situation. Or it's like this person, somebody knows this person's true intentions on why they want to come back to them or why they want them. And somebody is choosing somebody else that's more of their vibe, you know, in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Like the this, whoever this energy is, this Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, this is somebody that front like they got it. They front like they got something that they don't really have. Okay? But they talk shit like they got it, but they don't really got it, okay? For real, for real. They don't. This a motherfucker that'll buy a whole Gucci outfit and then they'll return it after they done wearing it because they can't really afford it. But this is a person that'll try to show up in the public like they got shit, okay? So, yeah, this, this kind of person. But then somebody else with the Queen of Swords, this person, they tell, you know, they honest, they real, they up front, they who they are, you know, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't try to put on, you know what I'm saying? They just, they just who they are. They don't try to put on for the city. They don't try to keep up with the Joneses and all that shit, okay? Because whoever this Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles is, this is that kind of person. They try to keep up with the Joneses. They talk shit like they got it, but they don't really got it, okay? <laughs> So, whoever this person is, they could be taking, like, they really going through bad karma at this time. Yeah. They attacked you. And they wanted your world roll very hard. What was about this attack, Spirit? Give me energy on this attack. Justice. Well, damn. They want you to know that you got justice any damn way. For some of y'all, this could have been attacked when it came to court. This, like I said, with justice, this is giving me like a divorce or something or something like that. Or just two people battling in court when it comes to shit, okay? But for some of y'all, this is somebody that could have told a lot of lies in court to make your roll hard. But this person going to be shocked at how things is going to backfire on their ass. 
Yeah, they gonna be real shocked. Yup. <laughs> Dumb ass old. Yo, yo, yo. I can't stand people that show up like that. You front like you got shit that you don't. Like, who you trying to impress? Like, these motherfuckers that you trying to impress, if you need their help, would you be able to ask them for $20? Would you be able to ask them for $20? I guarantee you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> you up here breaking yourself, breaking your bank, trying to impress motherfuckers. Like, I don't understand that. I'm not going to do shit I can't afford, yo. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Say what you want. At the end of the day, I stand on my own ten toes. So, shit. Ain't nobody trying to front like they got shit that they don't got. Like, what the fuck is really going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers do too much. Like, who? You, why are you trying to impress motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about you if you was homeless tomorrow? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Somebody's birthday could be in May. Okay? Somebody could have hazel eyes or somebody could name could be Hazel. Okay? I heard Mazani. Mazani. Okay? Or something like that. Alright. I heard Hexel. Hexel. I heard Valerie. I heard Valera. Valera or something like that. All right, you guys. I heard Zach. Something with Zach. I heard Marilyn. Something to do with Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Okay. All right, you guys. I really hope that these messages helped you or gave you some kind of clarity in your situation. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I'm hearing something about uh, throat chakra. Throat chakra meditation or balancing for some of you guys you could be needing to balance out your throat chakra and i heard solar plexus solar plexus and throat okay all right you guys peace